Welcome to part 13 in this unit tutorial series and in this video I'm going to give the zombie characters a unique identity to work with my hit detection system. And of course the hit detection will all happen on the server and um, well, oh, well it's correction sorry, the hit detection will happen locally and the damage will be applied on the server. So in order for that to happen I need each character to have each zombie character to have a unique identity so that the server can find uh, the game object based off a string supplied to it just like how I've done with the player health and uh, damage system. Alright so I'll go ahead and make a new script and call it zombie ID and uh, immediately get to work. Alright so as usual using unity engine dot networking and then uh, network behavior done I need uh, two variables. I know I need a sync var. And this sync var is called, uh, well, first of all, public string. It's a string and it's the unique ID. So it's the zombie ID, I'm going to call it. And um, this gets synced across to all the client players. It then gets, a, it gets applied to the transform as well. And so then when the player shoots the zombie, then that name will be sent to the server and the server will look up and find the game object which has that name and then run a function to deduct health from the zombie character. Uh, so that's how it works. So private uh, transform my transform. Okay, and then in the start function, uh, very quickly, my transform is equal to transform, right? And um, then in the update function, I'm going to make a new function. Uh, so I'm going to run here, uh, set identity, right? And then I'll make this function void set identity. Okay. And then in this, I'm going to say my transform, if my transform is empty, an empty name, oh, sorry, if my transform dot name, is empty or uh, my transform.name is uh, equal to I know that's from experience you know just looking in the inspector when they're instantiated a zombie dot a zombie clone so if any of these are true uh, then in that case apply this uh, my transform.name the zombie ID and uh, so of course I haven't I haven't supplied I haven't set this yet so I'm gonna do that using from the previous video, the zombie spawner, you saw me right there a counter. So time to make use of that now. Uh, so counter uh, plus plus. So every time a zombie gets spawned, that counter gets incremented. And now you can see why I kept a reference to the instantiated game object. So get component, and that is a zombie ID. And then it is a zombie, oops, a zombie ID is equal to uh, this string a zombie. Uh, and I'll leave a little space plus counter done. Okay. And I actually don't need to write dot two string. Integers are automatically converted to string from what I've seen. Okay. Uh, and that's it. And I got rid of the start and update functions already. They weren't necessary. Um, I just need to attach it to that uh, zombie prefab. So if I come here uh, and uh, just come to the scripts and uh, drop in the zombie ID. Uh, I believe that should work. So I'll go ahead and build. Well, I didn't need to do that actually. I can, but oh well, no matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, is it working? Well, yep, they're all there. And uh, let's have a look. What do they look like? There we go. They all have unique names. So it uh, definitely worked. Okay, so which is good. So no problems whatsoever. If I stop it here. And I just start a server. Yep, no problem. Okay, so that's it. That's working. Unique identity is working. Uh, so from there, I guess in the next video will be the uh, hit detection and the damage uh, to the zombies and destroying them. Okay, well, thanks for watching and until next time.